Hi there, it's Gabrielle Nicolet from Speech Kids where we teach little kids to talk and we help parents understand their little kids. And we're talking about emotion coaching. And so I wanted to get into this a little bit more deeply in this video. Um, and so what does it mean to be a coach? Um, and this is a term like everybody's a coach these days, right? But what are some things that involve um, that, that happen when you are coaching somebody. Um, I think there are a couple of different um, important things that happen. One is you're allowing that person to make their own mistakes and have their own experience. And so if we apply this to our kids, um, we as parents, myself included, have a tendency to want to um, have our kids avoid mistakes. Um, and yet, if we're being a coach, particularly as regards difficult feelings, um, we want to allow our kids to have those experiences so they can learn from them. And that can feel really hard, but it's also really necessary. Um, so letting them have their own experience and make their own mistakes. Um, the second thing is, is that we're there for a course correction when necessary. So, um, and I got into this a little bit in the last video, but we talk about the notion that all feelings are okay. The part that's not okay is the behavior. And so let's talk about that behavioral piece. Um, because sometimes what happens is that in an expression of anger, our kids are throwing books on the floor, for example. Um, and when you see those books going on the floor, the immediate temptation is to um, get angry and start consequating the books being on the floor. Got to clean up the books, all the things, right? We don't mess up books, um, but it's not about the books. It's about the anger. And so if we're in our emotion coaching role and we manage to stay present and calm long enough to do this, and I've been there um, on the opposite side of what I'm talking about plenty of times, but if we stay calm, what we can do is start to shape the behavior while still acknowledging the emotion. I can see that you're really angry. Let's figure out a good way for you to have that feeling that doesn't involve throwing books. Um, acknowledging the feeling and shaping the behavior. I want to caution you against thinking that you can um, shape the, f the size of the feeling because this is something we also do as parents. We want, we want everything to be okay. And sometimes we know that, for example, the thing that our child is upset about is not worth being upset about. And yet they're upset. It's real to them. They're upset a lot. <laughs> right? They're having a big moment of upset. And so just because we know it's not a big deal doesn't make it any less of a big deal for them. And trying to explain to them that it's not a big deal in the moment is just going to lead to escalation and um, it, it's not going to work out well for anybody. So allowing them to have the big feeling, but coaching them through their own response to it is the sweet spot. For emotion coaching. It's also the most difficult, the least linear, and uh, the hardest to do. <laughs> so, um, it's also the hardest to do. But it's so worth it. Because when we do that, when we acknowledge feelings and shape behavior, then we get people, adults, kids who grow up to be adults who can handle their feelings, who understand what they are and know how to deal with them. And that's really what we want, isn't it? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how this is going and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.